All right, it's grocery day, so I'm just making up something really easy. It's also a work day. I don't know. I try to do too many things on days that I have to work. I know I don't have that kind of energy, so dinner is going to be these hot and spicy chicken patties. We're going to make some sandwiches. And I'm also going to make some of these beer battered fillets um, because I want a fish sandwich, but some people don't like fish in our house. So that's why we're going to do some chicken patties and some fish switches. These are some huge chicken breasts. I mean, look at this one. I mean, I was expecting some of those like little round um patties that you get from Tyson. Anyway, I have my fish on a pan. We have chicken on a pan. We have tater tots on a pan. It doesn't get any easier than that. I'm just going to whip up some tartar sauce to go on the fish and that's going to be dinner tonight. We're just going to do some sandwiches. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well. Let's move it back like that. Just so you can get the gist. I'm just making some tartar sauce. So I'm gonna start off by putting some mayo in my bowl. And I am right down to the very end of my mayo in both of my jars. So it looks like I'll be able to get about a cup out of here, which will be fine. So there goes my jar. I've got, can you see there? About a cup of mayo in there. And then next, let me grab a, I like to use a fork when I'm getting out my relish because I don't get as much liquid that way. So I'm just going to put a couple of scoops of, I'm using dill relish. I like dill in my tartar sauce. I'm going to do a little bit of salt um, and then also a little bit of dried dill seasoning. Might be a little bit of overkill, but who cares? Let's see, I want some pepper in this as well, so that's way too much. Let's put some of that back. All right. Some lemon juice. I just used the cap. About a cap full there. And then I want some paprika. And a little bit goes a long way. Just going to stir it all together. If I had a little onion powder, I would probably add that too, but I don't. So we're just gonna keep it the way it is. So yummy. Oh boy. You gotta make it beautiful, like with lettuce. not going to be pretty. <laughs> I don't know. That looks pretty to me. You have a whole salad on your sandwich. <laughs> okay, put the hat on. <laughs> Perfect. All right, here is Cam's plate. As messy as it is, that chicken is a little troubling. <laughs> All right, this is its pretty side, I guess. <laughs> These fish portions are so nice and crispy, just the way I wanted them to be. My sandwich is very basic, nothing to really see there, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Oh, you're doing ranch and mustard? Yeah. 
Everybody seems to be doing something a little different with their sandwiches tonight. So this is Dawson's plate and he is doing mustard and ranch. I don't know about that one, but it's his sandwich. I'll let him do what he wants. <laughs> do you have a scoop for this or something? Yeah. I had to get out the George Foreman grill to cook up some bacon. We're doing breakfast for dinner tonight. And bacon cooks up so quick on the George Foreman, even when it's the thick stuff like this. It takes a little bit of maneuvering to get it all on the cooking area, but it's worth it. On the stove top, I'm also cooking up a couple of cans of corned beef hash and also some sausage patties. These are just something simple and quick and my guys love their breakfast meat, so that's what I'm giving them today. It's 7 a.m. and I am getting dinner ready in the crock pot. Just tossing in a bunch of boneless, skinless chicken breast. I have my crock pot liner anticipating that I will not feel like doing dishes because that has been the pattern lately. All right, all my chicken breasts are in the crock pot. Next, I'm going to add some seasoning. I'm going to start off with some granulated chicken bouillon. This is the Noor brand. Some minced garlic. Black pepper. And some salt, a pinch of red pepper flakes, some Cajun seasoning, about a teaspoon, now four ounces of cream cheese. I'm adding about a half of a cup of water. Then I'm going to pour in eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. In the recipe, they add the pasta right in, but we're just going to cook that when I get home from work. Okay, we are back. This cooked for six hours like we programmed the crock pot. And then it's just been kind of on warm after that. So I turned it back on. I'm using this lovely little tool here to kind of mash up the meat and get that cream cheese all mixed in. I'm also going to add a container of Parmesan cheese. This is a five ounce can of Parmesan. 
And you don't have to get too wild and crazy because that chicken is so tender it is just turning into shreds. I'm going to use that whole five ounce container. Get it nice and cheesy. All right, I'm just going to turn that down on low, maybe even warm because I didn't expect it to be that cooked already. So I'm just going to make some pasta and some mozzarella sticks to go with us because we need more cheese today, I guess. I'm in a cheesy mood. And because I feel like my husband's not really in a chicken mood, um, I'm just going to thaw out some of these peeled and deveined large shrimp. They're frozen, so I'm going to put a little bit of water and um, make him some Cajun shrimp. I don't, I don't know. I'm just feeling like he's not really into chicken today. And it's my job, I guess, to read his mind and his stomach and figure it out. Got my shrimp in some water. I just have it in one of these um, colander type bowls um, just so that I can change the water when I need to. That's it, easy peasy. Quick and simple crock pot meal. <clears throat> All right, here is a look at Bill's shrimp. I just uh, melted down some butter and a little bit of broth in there, some sliced up purple onion, some pasta, Cajun seasoning, and some crushed red pepper. I'm going to be working second shift today, so in order to get my family fed, I'm relying on my crock pot. I have some of these smaller size um, round steaks that I'm putting in there. There's about six. And I'm just gonna throw in this bag of potatoes. And I've been working on them, just kind of trimming off some of the eyes. I've had them sitting around for too long, but I just went through and trimmed them up as needed. So I guess I'll just take this time to give you all an informal apology. I just haven't been able to upload a video in a little while, a couple weeks. So not really a big deal, but I've just had some health issues that I needed to take care of some testing no worries i am fine but dinners have been nothing to write home about especially on the days that i wasn't able to cook or eat but i think everybody at my house is pretty sick of takeout and since i am going back to work today and I won't be home around dinner time. I just don't want them to feel like they have to rely on fast food again tonight. All right, I've got a packet of beefy onion soup mix, a tablespoon of minced garlic and next I'm just going to add about a teaspoon, well, probably more like a tablespoon of salt and pepper. And then just a small amount, amount of water. I'm just using that same bowl.
Well, I'm just getting home from work and it's super late. Super late, but I am hungry and I'm kind of just dying for a salad. It's been one of those days where I just kind of snack here and there. And I think I just didn't get enough veggies today. So I'm really craving a nice giant salad. Now that I've got my greens on my salad, I'm just going to slice up some of these little tomatoes. Unless they prove to be a little too unruly, then I'm just not going to mess with them. Nobody has time for that. Just kidding, they're being fine. Bring on some cheese. Now I'm going to do a nice portion of some Hillshire Farms oven roasted turkey. Just going to cut that up as well. Next I have some pepperoni slices that I just cut into fourths. We're just going to sprinkle those around. And now some pepperoni, or some salami. I told you it's late. Now I'm just going to add some black olives. And I've got some banana pepper rings. If I can get the lid off, then I'll add those. Ooh, I guess I'm stronger than I think. I just want a few. We're not going to overdo it. It's late. I don't want to have heartburn. All right, so next I'm just going to add a few of these cheesy garlic croutons. And some Ken Steakhouse Sweet Vidalia Onion Dressing. Eek! All right, we're kind of having a dressing catastrophe here, but we're just going to mix it all up. And that is what I call a true happy accident because more is more <laughs> when it comes to salad dressing. I don't care what anyone says. I usually try to be good, but hey, it's not my fault this time. These cheeseburgers are the last meal featured in this video and before I close it out I just want to say thank you to everyone who stopped by to watch and a special shout out to those of you who show up every single week and support me through all of my ups and downs. It means the world to me. I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now.